Jingle bells, jingle all the way. A Boston University professor claims Jingle Bells is rooted in racism. Wow. Professor Kaina Hamill saying, quote, the racial history of the song has remained hidden behind its local and seasonal affection. Blackface and racist origins have been subtly and systematically removed from its history. Carol Swain is a former professor at Vanderbilt University and the author of Abduction, How Liberalism Steals Our Children's Hearts and Minds. I mean, what a better uh, book title <laughs> than stealing Christmas from our families? What in the world is going on? Well, in academia, we get rewarded for coming up with ideas, and the more extreme, the better. And we know that with Jingle point. Bells, it doesn't matter how it was originally performed. What matters is that it transcends time yeah. and race and place. It's a Christmas classic. We all love it. Why take it away? Absolutely. Why the reflexive desire in academia, but more, more inclusively on the left, to go back to the divisive orange, or origins or the things that divide us as opposed to trying to point toward the things that bring us together? I think it's part of this whole leftist agenda that I tie to cultural Marxism to destroy America as we know it. And for some reason, race has always been used to keep stirring the pot instead of pushing for racial reconciliation, what we really need in this country. The political left and sadly the universities, they seem to have gone, I mean, they have create this environment where we send our young people to college, they get politicized. They may be indifferent to race. They see everyone the same, but once they get on the campus, they didn't get involved with the yeah. ethnic studies programs, mm -hmm. then you get hatred. And that shouldn't be. Carol, what about this trend where we see these kiddie activists, they call them, growing trend of parents taking their kids to political events. I live in, around the Washington area. All kinds of anti-Trump rallies. People are allowed to you know, speak out against the president, whether it's a Democrat or Republican. But they bring their kids. They wear these hats that I can't even describe what kind of a hat it is. They're pink. Um, I'll, I'll say that. And they have their kids hold up signs. Yeah that say all kinds, you know, vulgarity and all kinds of things on the signs. And you might have a five or a six year old holding the sign. Well, some of the children are as young as two. I don't think parents should use their children as political props. And I think that it's irresponsible for any parent to put that child in a situation where there's a potential for danger. If the child is old enough to express a desire to attend a rally, then that's one thing. But to take a child into a situation like that is irresponsible, I believe. I push back a little bit on that because as parents, I mean, I may not agree with the opinion of a of a uh, anti-Trump rally, and I would never put a pink hat on my kid. But I mean, it's parents who teach their kids values and about ideas. I mean, I happen to be a political spouse. My kids think parades are for passing out political literature. <laughs> they don't know that, you know, it's, it's for fun. Um, so I do think that there's a role for parents in educating their kids about issues. Yes, I mean, I think that parents should educate their children with values and principles that shape that character. I don't see how taking a child to a protest rally, and I know there have been some teachers that have taken that the have whole class yes. room to a rally, a protest, mm -hmm. without parental permission. That's right. Uh, there was a teacher that took a class to a field trip to a sex novelty shop. I talk about that in my book. Uh, I mean, there's something very, very wrong. There's something uh, that I think we should all be concerned about. And a lot of those children, when they get old enough to think, they're going to rebel against what their parents have done to them. It's a great point. It's one thing to pass out literature at a parade. It's another thing to go to the Brooklyn Public Library for social justice story time and read your one-year-old <laughs> A is for activist. I mean, this is, this is yes. effectively liberal indoctrination to right. a lot of parents. It is. And I find in college yeah. that the young people, they come and they have memorized all the answers <laughs> to all the politically correct issues of our day. They think they know everything, and only the conservatives get challenged. Carol Swain, we appreciate you coming in. That's what Thank you. Common sense. Get your abduction, stealing the... How, how liberalism liberals. steals the hearts and minds of our children. I love All the right. title. Thank <laughs> you. All right. Let's save Jingle Bell.